So this is Gary Arma from What's Up Outdoors. Hopefully everybody's having a blessed day. So um, today is Valentine's Day, uh, 2023, February 14th, of course. And uh, I've got some special plans for my wife. Of course, she has to work today. I'm so glad that I was off. I'm off on Tuesdays and Sundays. Um, so uh, what I have planned is, uh, I actually, I know her supervisor and uh, I called her supervisor and asked if there was any way that I could come into their break room during lunch and have lunch with April. And uh, she said yes. Uh, so she rearranged that and got everything, uh, everything cleared with the boss. Terry, I think is his name, but uh, nevertheless, I uh, got that cleared. And um, so I'll be taking uh, some, uh, she likes Welch's red grape juice. So I'll be taking that on ice. Um, I'll be taking her flowers. Uh, I have her a coffee mug and a bear. Um, I have the little uh, LED um, heart camera lights and I have us some, uh, some little, um, they're wine glasses, we don't drink, but uh, we're using it for, of course, the, the red grape juice. Uh, but I have her um, little wine glasses with little uh, kissing lips in the center for Valentine's Day. I got her a real sweet card. Uh, actually, I got that real early. Um, uh, because I wanted to make sure that I didn't wait till the last minute and have to pick through the terrible cards, but I got a really good card and I'm really excited. Uh, so I want to say you guys, you may have missed it this year, but plan something special, uh, for that special someone in your life. And, uh, even if you maybe can get in touch with, uh, with her work or, you know, uh, her supervisor or, you know, um, her boss or what have you. Just uh, plan something special if they have to work and you're off. Uh, this has been Gary from What's Up Outdoors. Uh, I'll probably get some more pictures and things of that and I had a long and I'll show, show you my checklist of everything that I got and everything that I'll be taking. I'll have that on here too for you. So like I say, God bless you and have a great day. So, uh, of course, I live in Stan, Kentucky. It's about, uh, about 20, 25 minutes uh, from Mount Sterling, Walmart, maybe 30 minutes. So I'm going to head over there where I'll be getting the uh, Welch's uh, red grape juice. And then uh, I also have to order um, the uh, pepperoni calzones from the Italian restaurant Molini Cassini over there in Mount Sterling. So I have to ride it, drive over there, and although I guess it's right around 8.20 right now, I'm going to go ahead and go on over, so I'll be over there. Uh, I don't have to leave there until probably about 11.15 uh, from Mount Sterling, but I want to go ahead and get on over and get it set up before she goes to lunch. So hopefully I can be at her work about 11.45, and I'm going to call Robin, which is her supervisor, so Robin can come out and uh, let me in to the break room so I can get everything set up uh, before April comes in for uh, lunch. Uh, I know she's going to be surprised. And I also um, had to turn off the Life 360, which is a, um, it's basically, uh, it's our, we track each other to make sure each other, you know, we're safe and things of that nature. Um, so we got that tracking uh on, uh, on each other for when we drive and for where we are. So I had to turn mine off because every time I go somewhere, mine beeps uh, whenever I go to a certain place. If I go home, it beeps that I'm home. If it, if it says I'm at Walmart, it says that I'm at Walmart. And so I don't want her seeing everywhere that I'm going. So I had to remember that I had not to turn that off. So I got that turned off uh, so she won't know where I am. Uh, so... Anyway, I turned it off last night because I didn't, I don't know if it sends her a notification that I turned it off, so I figured I'd do it last night while she was sleeping um, if it did send a notification because she don't, she usually don't check things uh, if she's like really, really asleep, so anyway, stay tuned and I'll show you some more video later. So folks, I'm here at Walmart uh, in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. I've got everything uh, pretty much that I need to get except for the flowers. I'm going to wait uh, 
for the last minute, I'll grab the flowers. And then after I get the flowers, I'll head over to Molini Cassini, which is the Italian restaurant. And I will get our pepperoni and cheese calzones. And uh, then I'll head on over to my wife's work and uh, I'll give her a surprise. So y'all stay tuned. So far, everything is going as planned um, for the Valentine's Day lunch that my wife doesn't know about. I uh, have her several gifts. I've got everything taken care of, but I'm fixing to walk into the Lini Cassini here in Mount Starley, Kentucky and order our food. And, uh, hopefully everything goes well. Usually it doesn't go too good for me. Uh, I don't like those epic fails, but so far so good. So I went to Melini Cassini's and I ordered the pepperoni calzones and uh, right now I'm heading over to my where my wife works at. Uh, I, at first I thought, you know, whenever they said it was going to take 20 to 25 minutes for those calzones, I said, oh no, you know, that's going to be cutting it close. But uh, I should be, I should be perfect timing um, getting over here and getting in the break room and getting everything set up. I'm just... Uh, Big thanks to Robin um, for allowing me to come into the break room and uh, have lunch with my wife today on Valentine's Day. Um, but anyway, so guys, you know, pour into your wives. Uh, you'll see that you know, they'll pour into you. They'll love you. They'll respect you. Uh, just know this. Uh, in God's Word, uh, the Bible talks about how men should love their wives and it says wives respect your husbands no I, i've never ever read anywhere in the bible where it tells wives to love their husbands you know and don't get me wrong i'm not saying your wife doesn't love you but it does say for wives to respect their husbands and you want your wife to respect you love them Treat them right. Pour into them. Do things for them. Uh, you know, they come in from a hard day of work. You know, don't expect them, you know, always to go in and cook. Sometimes you get in there and cook. Sometimes you get in there and do the dishes. Sometimes you go and wash the clothes and fold them and hang them up. Uh, do things around the house. Not just outside, but on the inside. And do some things for your wives, uh, men. And, uh, and you'll see that your wives will appreciate you more and respect you a whole lot more. So, uh, like I say, I'm going over here. Should be over here in just a few minutes. And I'll get set up. And I'll see if I can bring more video to you. If not, then God bless you. But if so, uh, we'll see you here in a few minutes. So I'm in the break room right now. I've got everything set up. Food. Um, I got her gift over there. So, we'll see how things go. She should be coming any second. So, I'm gonna try to record that too. So, stay tuned. Hello. I'm by. Well, I'm back home now. Everything worked out great today with my Valentine's surprise to my wife. Uh, matter of fact, while I was uh, eating with her, she couldn't stop smiling. So that's what I wanted to see. And that's very, I'm, I'm actually, I'm very, very happy that everything worked out. And uh, she loved it. So uh, guys, pour into your wives and uh, you'll see that they'll love and respect you. And they'll have a blessed day.